We're sending uh, The American surge aimed at bringing violence time. under control in Iraq is finally over. And security in more than half of Iraq's provinces is now in Iraqi hands, five years after the U.S.-led invasion. Though this is by no means mission accomplished, for Admiral Mike Mullen, this is a remarkable turn of events. But security is unquestionably and remarkably better. Indeed, if these trends continue, I expect to be able, early in the fall, to recommend to the Secretary and to the President further troop reductions. This, a year after U.S. President George Bush authorized a mass military deployment there. It became known as the Surge, a military buildup with the purpose of cracking down on mainly Sunni armed groups in Iraq at a time when Iraq looked like it was on the verge of an all-out civil war. Violence did drop, but also in part due to Iraqi Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki's decision to crack down on armed Shia groups in their own strongholds, such as Muqtada al-Sadr's affiliated Mahdi army. Moreover, tribal leaders of various communities also helped curb the violence by taking over their streets to keep them free of al-Qaeda-affiliated groups, all of which, many say, has strengthened the government's hand and expanded its reach. On Wednesday, Qadisiyah became the latest province to be handed over to the Iraqi government, making it the 10th out of 18 provinces to fall under Iraqi control. A clear milestone in the eyes of many, including U.S. officials who insist that the Iraqi army is rising to the occasion. All of that adds up, I think, to a much more confident force, a much more capable force, and it's continuing to, to really grow in that regard. But the story isn't all rosy. One province that still escapes Iraqi control is Anbar, the scene of some of the fiercest clashes since the 2003 U.S.-led invasion. And there are still thousands more American soldiers in Iraq today than there were before the surge, with talks between the Iraqis and the Americans about long-term American military presence in Iraq still ongoing. Zaina Awad, Al Jazeera.